Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having a fabulous week. Um, next week for us, we are celebrating Eid, which marks the end of Ramadan. And um, traditionally on Eid, we give money to the kids. And so this week I wanted to show you how to make a quick little money holder kind of card um, for Eid if you guys are celebrating. So you can make these and hand them out to your kids and they will all be very happy. All right, so with that, let's get started. So the card I'm making today is pretty much identical to this one, but um, it's in a little bit of a different color scheme. So I'm just gonna move that to the side. The first thing you're gonna need is your paper trimmer. And I've got a card base ready here already. So my card base measures eight by seven. Um, just making sure of that. Yeah, eight by seven. And what you are going to do is score it at four in the middle. So we're just gonna line this up. Sorry, I apologize if you can't see my trimmer there. Okay, there we go. Line it up at four and just score it down the center. Um, I'm just going to put this to the side because I don't know if I'm going to need it right now. The next thing you're going to do is grab your bone folder and fold that where you've scored it. Line it up. And so for the other card, I used Very Vanilla. This one is Thick Whisper White, so it's going to hold up nicely. It's going to have a nice fold to the edge. I'm just having a look here. It's a little bit off. I might be able to fix that. There. So here's your card base. This is gonna be at the very bottom. The next thing you're gonna need is a piece of designer series paper. Now for this, I'm using the Simply Elegant, I think it's called. Uh, Simply Elegant designer series paper. So it comes with a ton of different patterns. This is still available until the retirement of the next catalog, the annual catalog. So it's available till the end of May, I believe. Or sorry, what is it right now? April. Yeah, so it's available till the end of April. And then in May, the new catalog starts. I'm just going to make sure that's accurate. Yes. So you can still grab this if you want it. And it's really nice for Eid cards, I think, anyway. Okay, so the next thing you're going to need is a panel to put on the back or a piece of designer series paper, and I've already got it pre-cut for us. So this is a quarter of an inch smaller on each side, and that piece is going to go down. But um, on this one, I had put some twine, and I think I'm going to do the same thing here so you want the twine to go right in the middle um, and so what we're going to do is take some tape runner and just throw it on in the middle like this in two layers and the twine's going to stick to the back of that so for this i am going to be using gold twine i'd really like to use copper but i don't have copper twine so what I'm going to do is find where it's sticky, kind of put that on like this, and then bring it, oh, sometimes it has a problem sticking, but that's okay. Okay, so push it down, bring it around. second time and then stick it down on the end just like that and snip now I'm gonna show you a really big trick so you're just gonna get some regular tape 
Um, this is wall safe tape. And you're just gonna stick it down so it doesn't keep coming off. Because it will if you don't secure it. Kind of had that problem on the last one. Learning from my mistakes, guys. Okay, so you're just gonna put that down. And then we're gonna put this onto here. So for this, I did just use my tape runner. I'm not putting it on dimensionals or anything, but make sure you put enough to actually secure it down because of that twine that we have on it. Okay, so I want it this way. And I'm just going to center this on here. And this part always makes me a little bit nervous. And then just push it down. Okay. So there's the base of the Eid money holder. And now we're going to move on to the little tags. So. For that, I'm using this punch. It came with the elegantly said stamp set. So this was all a suite and it's it's in the current annual catalog, which will retire at the end of May. Okay, so you're gonna use your punch. This is really great. Punches make life much easier. So we're just gonna stick it in and this is some copper paper that I have. I thought it would go really well on there, so we're gonna use that. I think um, somebody bought this for me and I think it's from Michaels, just in case you're wondering. And then we're gonna need a piece of white that's gonna go on top of that. So this is gonna be the back tag and this is gonna be the front tag. And I'm using my thick whisper white for this just because I have a scrap here okay so there's that I'm just gonna get rid of that punch okay and now the next thing we're gonna do is um, stamp our greeting on here so I'm using Eid Mubarak and this is from Altenu's Eid greeting set. This is the Eid al-Adha greeting set. And the stamp is right here. So it, it was this one. So I'm just gonna grab some black ink. I'm gonna use Memento. And I'm just gonna ink that up. I do notice with the Altenew greetings, um, if you push too hard, it does come out a little bit fatter. So make sure that you're not putting too much pressure on there, even though it's photopolymer. So I'm just gonna, sorry, I'm just gonna clean that so I don't make anything black as I'm working. Okay, the next stamp I'm gonna be using is from the Elegantly Said Stamp Set by Stampin' Up. This one, this beautiful one, um, we're just going to be using a little tiny corner of it. So we'll bring that in and I'm going to stamp that in, sorry, I'm just, I was going to do crumb cake, but I feel like this one, nope, we'll just stick with crumb cake. Okay, <coughs> excuse me. Um, so I'm just going to grab my crumb cake and you want to stamp off when you do this just because crumb cake is a little bit dark. So I'm just going to stamp it on a piece of paper and then bring it on to here and just push down. So you kind of get like a little bit of the background, but it's not overpowering. Okay. So off have a baby wipe here 
Okay. Now what's gonna happen is this is gonna get glued onto here. Now you want this one to be straight and this one to be a little bit slanted. So that's what we're gonna do. And I'm just gonna put the glue on the foil part of it. And just spotting it on there. Okay, this is gonna be slanted and this one's gonna be straight. I'm just going to put that down like that. So now you have a little bit of a shadow of the copper there, but it's not overpowering. So I'm just going to leave that there. And then I'm going to use my champagne rhinestones. Get one from the very bottom there. I used my fingers to do this last time and lost control of the of the rhinestone so I'm not gonna do that this time okay so that's gonna go on like that perfect and this piece is gonna go on with dimensionals so I'm just gonna let that dry for a minute I'm gonna bring my card back in here and we're just gonna do a little bit of stamping on the inside so I'm gonna use crumb cake and that really big pretty stamp from simply elegantly said and it's just gonna come in right there such a crisp stamp i have to say that stampin up stamps are very good quality they don't smudge they don't leave weird marks Just perfect. Okay, I really like this stamp. I'm, I think I'm gonna hold on to this set just because with that stamp, you could make a full, like a simple card and use up the entire page with just that one image. Okay, so there's that. And get my next stamp here. Okay, so this one says Happy Eid, and this is gonna go right in the middle, and I'm gonna do that with Memento. This stamp, I find you really have to ink it up properly. Okay, so let's just kind of center that and stamp. There we go. And on top of that happy Eid, I have a stamp that says wishing you a, I think. So we're going to use that. That's also from the Eid greetings, wishing you a very. So yeah, that's going to go on. Sorry, I'm just trying to stretch this so it's straight. Push it on. Ink it up. This is going to be a little bit crooked, but I'm not too worried. Okay, so wishing you a very happy Eid, okay? And these are just going to my nephews. And so, yeah, I'm not too worried about it being crooked. All right, so that stamping's done. Isn't that really pretty? Okay. So um, I'm gonna put this on now. And for this, I'm using dimensionals, the big ones. I'm just gonna turn it around. Actually, I might as well use my tweezers because I have them. So I'm wondering if other people have a money in their Eid traditions as well, or do you guys give your kids something different? I've always gotten money as far back as I can remember. It was never really focused on toys. And then you would collect your money and go shopping and buy whatever you want, which is the funnest part. Okay, so this, I'm just gonna make sure that my white piece is straight as I'm putting this on, just like that. 
And then I'm going to put a little bow over here with my twine. So I apologize in advance <laughs> if my bow takes me a million years, but it shouldn't. This twine is actually pretty easy to work with. Okay, so just going to make that guy a little bit smaller. Yeah, there. Okay. Okay, I am happy with this. So we're just going to snip it off. Move some of these things out of the way. Grab my blue dots. Get a glue dot on the bow, and the bow is just gonna go right there. So now it kind of looks like it's wrapped up, but it's not in real life. Okay, now there's one last piece that I have to put on here before I can say it's complete, and it's the little money holder that I had. So I'm just gonna grab a piece of paper. I can, where did I put it? Okay, I thought I had a piece cut out already, but I guess I don't, but that's okay. So all you're going to need is another piece of this designer series paper. And I know that my card is four inches, so I do want it to be three and a half, three and a half um, vertically. So we're just going to stick this in here. Or sorry, not, is it three and a half that I wanted? Yeah, no, no, I want three and three quarters. Okay, so just there, grab my cutting blade and cut. And then I wanna do a diagonal. <clears throat> so this part, I didn't really measure it on the other one, but it doesn't need to be really big or anything. So just play around with the dimensions or I can give you what I did cut it to. So I have three and a half by three and three quarters. And then this part, the top here is two and a quarter inches. So two and a quarter inches and three and, um, three and just under a half, like just under three and a half. And we're just gonna stick this in here like that. So for that, you're gonna need your tape runner again. And you wanna go down all the way and as close to the edge as possible. Same with this side and the bottom, but you don't put any on the top or in the middle. Okay, so that is going to go on right here. Okay, now the last thing you would need is some money, and I think I have some here. And however much you're giving, it should just slip right inside without any, yeah. There you go. So there is your little Eid money holder. Here's both of them. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and give me a like. And yeah, let me know which one you like better. Or if you decide to buy this set, I will link the descriptions underneath in the description of the video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks for watching. Bye.